What's up, YouTube? It's your boy. I'm everyone's boy, the TK Moss. Today, I will be doing WrestleMania fantasy matches. WrestleMania is two days away. Today is Friday. WrestleMania is Sunday. It's going to be a heck of a show. But today, I will be doing fantasy matches. Let's get to it. I got five, my five best fantasy matches that I could think of. First off, we got Chris Benoit versus Daniel Bryan. Arguably the two greatest, I guess you can you can really say, I want to say little guys because Chris Benoit is not little. But size-wise, these guys are arguably the same height, 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, Benoit is about a good 225. Bryan is a good 205. These guys are arguably two of the greatest technical wrestlers of all time. Chris Benoit's freaking physicality, his intensity, Daniel Bryan's quickness, his intensity, but he is not as physical as Chris Benoit. This match would be money, straight up money. This is this dream match. Now, this is a definitely a dream match that people would definitely pay to see. Daniel Bryan, arguably, he's a, everybody loves Daniel Bryan. Chris Benoit, just, I just think Chris Benoit physicality, because these guys, they, they have the same, I think Daniel Bryan kind of, kind of, you know, I want to say took Chris Benoit moves, but he kind he used the flying headbutt at times. He he used the cripple coffers in a way, in a in a kind of mo a modified way. But this match would be for for um one of the matches for the books. I'm pretty sure these guys will tear it up in the ring, no doubt about it. I would I would have Chris Benoit win this match just because he's he's like Daniel Bryan, but he's like. He's like faster, he's stronger, he's more physical. Daniel Bryan got all that, he could, but I think Daniel Bryan is a better seller. I think so, but I mean, in the end, I got Chris Benoit, it's a great match, man. But hey, let's get on to number two. Next, we got The Undertaker versus Sting. This match right here is one that could possibly still happen but you know, with age, Sting, Seth, Roll Seth Rollins put Sting out for the book. But supposedly he could have came back with the Undertaker. There was rumors. Uh, we'll see. Roman Reigns might be his last match. We will just have to see about that one. But this match is uh, this match will never happen. Well, I'm not gonna say never. But the Undertaker. Let's 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 look at it. Sting is the greatest WCW wrestler of all time. Undertaker, he's been there, done that, top three WWE superstar ever. These guys, just presence alone in the ring would be magnificent. Bart, Undertaker, the darkness, the, the darkness of hell type of guy. Sting, the lone wolf, he doesn't work with anybody. He doesn't, he does things by the book. He's that type of guy, the Undertaker. I haven't only lost to Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania, Sting. Being a great submission worker himself, he can he's very mindful of his moves. Same with the Undertaker. Undertaker came with the last ride, hit him with the tombstone, hit him with the snake eyes, hit him with various moves. Old school. Undertaker got height by about five inches, but Sting being Sting being so so technically sound, so mortal mortal rising. That that face paint on Sting is just that's awesome, man. But this match would be a good one. Uh, one of the greatest in the... In the I want to say the greatest, man. But this match in the late 90s, people really wanted this match more than anything. This match right here in the late 90s. But it never got to happen. But this match would be a good one. Sting would probably get the W. I, anything could happen in this match. You never know, man. But this the next match I'm about to show you guys. This match is the most anticipated match of all time. And that's... The Rock versus Shawn Michaels, HBK. This match right here will simply just be electrifying. Like The Rock, the most electrifying man in all of sports entertainment. Shawn Michaels, most people will say the greatest wrestler of all time. In a ring, he's the most entertaining of all time. Shawn Michaels could put up a great match with anybody. Shawn Michaels is a guy who they don't call him Mr. Re Mr. Re Mr. WrestleMania for no reason. This guy has all-time great matches at WrestleMania. He puts up in The Rock. Don't get me wrong. The Rock is is very explosive as an athlete. The Rock has great charisma. The Rock when it, when it's time for a big match feel, 
The Rock is right there. He puts it up every time he needs a big match. WrestleMania 17 with Stone Cold Steve Austin, he put up. WrestleMania 18 with Hulk Hogan, a lot of people said that should have been the main event he put up in that match. The first time he went against John Cena at WrestleMania 28, he put up in that match. So when it comes to big matches, The Rock is right there with Shawn Michaels. And I, this match would be absolutely just crazy. Maybe Shawn Michaels get the win with the H, with the um, Sweet Chin music. Just hit one of them, catching The Rock being off guard. The Rock could end it with a rock bottom, spine buster, uh, people's elbow. This match... I don't care what anybody says. This match right here is the number one match of all time that did not happen. I don't care who you put. These two never went to go at it, but these two right here, you have to give that the number one match of all time. In my opinion, that never happened. And I, 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 most people will say that. I believe so. But this match right here might be even more technicality better. Why is not Chris Benoit and Dan Bryan, that, um, as, I, as I may say, Bret Hart versus Kurt Angle. Talk about <laughs> these two right here could be arguably the greatest technical wrestler of all time. A lot of people say Bret Hart's the greatest technical wrestler of all time. Kurt Angle's in that top five. He could be in front of Benoit. He could be behind Benoit. But these two will put up like a Kurt Angle. When it comes to wrestling, well, when it comes to any match with Kurt Angle, Kurt Angle can turn any match into a five star match. Kurt Angle, right off the bat in the WWF, he was on top as champion because he put up spectacular matches against the best. He had arguably one of the greatest WrestleManias with Shawn Michaels just a couple ago. Kurt Angle, he, he went, is it, even if it's The Undertaker, The Rock, Brock Lesnar, he can put up Bret Hart on the other end. He can, under, Bret Hart, he had arguably the greatest match of all time versus, um, Versus Stone Cold Steve Austin in WrestleMania 13. That match put Austin on the map. Bret Hart being technically sound. Greatest technical wrestler ever. Hit him with the sharpshooter. Hit him with various moves, counters. But Kurt Angle would be, do the same thing back to him. Because Kurt Angle is that damn technical too. He's a, people forget, he's an Olympic gold champion. He's an Olympic gold medalist. He can hit him with the ankle lock. He can, he's an amateur wrestler. With that type of offense and defense of mechanisms in his offense attack he can he can guard he can play ball with you too current angle is no joke this brother right here could possibly win the match with that ankle lock but Bret Hart I'm pretty sure Bret Hart will go for that lower back so he can hit him with that sharpshooter or a power driver this match would be absolutely insane this match right here I would pay I, I would pay money to see all these matches but this match right here this match could steal the show. I, I, it's just crazy. This match could steal the show. Any of these matches could steal the show. But this match right here, the last one, the main event. Stone Cold Steve Austin versus CM Punk. This match right here, you could really have any type of main event. I don't know if this would be... This could easily be the main event, man. Still, Stone Cold Steve Austin, the most popular, dirty superstar of all time. Well, actually, I would probably say The Rock because he, he turned he turned wrestling to something else with, uh, with movie star in Hollywood. Everybody know The Rock was a wrestler. But Stone Cold Steve Austin, the biggest box office, I may say, he can play asses in seat and CM Punk and being anti-WWE as in, in today's product. I don't blame him because today's product is not that good. But CM Punk, he's a man of change. He wanted change. He did not get that change. Steve Austin, he wanted change inside the WWF in the early, in the uh, late 90s with Vince McMahon. He never saw eye to eye with the boss. Vince McMahon always putting down Stone Cold. Seeing, he's doing the same thing with CM Punk. But Steve Austin, he was lucky enough and able enough to fight the man. Fight the power. CM Punk tried, but he failed in a way because they didn't give a damn about him. But this match right here, CM Punk will definitely bring his A game because this is a match CM Punk wanted even back in the day. In the past Raw episodes, he wanted Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold Steve Austin, he would have gave it to CM Punk. He would have sucked a mud hole in his chest. He would have gave him a Stone Cold Stunner. He would have gave him a body slam. He would have beat us. He would have bloodied this man. CM Punk up, but CM Punk would be right there in them submission locks and them kicks, them punches, them great offensive techniques though that CM Punk has, man. But those guys would definitely put up. You can go with any of these main events. 
is amazing. But until then, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe button and all that stuff. It helps the channel. Until then, I'm your boy, the TK Moss. I'm out. Peace. And have fun watching WrestleMania, y'all.